So skincare minimalism is one of the top 2025 trends. So let's do a minimizing exercise together. I'm a cosmetic chemist that's been formulating this stuff for a long time. This is what I would do as an oily acne prone skin type if I had these in my skincare routine. Okay, so we're gonna decide between the timeless 20% vitamin C ascorbic acid serum, our very own Chemist Confessions Aquafix soothing serum with 0.5% madacasticide. We've got the Anua Rice 70 Ceramide Toner, the Coserx 6 Peptide Boost Booster, as well as the classic The Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. Now you can see all of these champion some great actives and you might feel all of these are competing for your space in your skincare routine. There's two that I would immediately pass on and that's the Ceramide Toner and the Niacinamide Serum. The Ceramide Toner is out for me because these actually really don't like being in water. Uh, you're probably going to get very little of it so this is not the format to get your Ceramide. Niacinamide is also going to be out for me and I know this is probably strange because this is an oily skin favorite. The reason why is because Niacinamide Niacinamide just feels like a redundancy. It often gets thrown into everything. We actually want to remind you to check all of your ingredient lists in every product because it's probably lurking in another product you didn't realize. And guess what? You only need two to five percent. In terms of the other three, peptides is a mood. There's a lot to unravel there. I've got to have my soothing serum. I'm obviously biased, but I've got acne. I'm using retinoid, so this is a great staple for me. And finally, you can't argue with the data behind ascorbic acid. Now, obviously, skin is personal and your skincare girls are personal, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how to prioritize what actives matter in your life and saves you some time getting ready and space on your shelf. Let me know if this is helpful and what products you'd like me to stack up against each other.